yeah, good luck, everybody. We're just waiting on Festivus to ready up. All right, let's do it. Inca had some cool calendars. I'm not shooting on you. <laughs> it filled up too quickly. Yeah, yeah, game filled up pretty fast. All right, uh, 4v4 on Scandinavia. Let's do it. I'm excited to not be playing Mario Maker for a few seconds. Bring over my sheep. Dude, my boar, oh my god, look at how many boar and deer are like right next to my shit, dude. That's legit. Pretty. That's pretty litty, fam. Ultimate Liddy. More sheep right here. Okay. And then it looks like I'm pocket. Man, this map looks like small for some reason. I don't know if that's just me or what. I'm gonna gather up my sheep. Yeah, so when you one of the Inca starting bonuses is that they start with a llama. And it's kinda like a weird bonus, but it's actually pretty helpful. a pretty helpful bonus it basically means that if you're if you can't find your sheep early on um, it helps you not fall behind so the Incas have like a really consistent start if that makes sense all right man I'm kind of like nestled in this forest here it's kind of it's kind of cool and I think the enemy must be like up here All right, so early on what I'm trying to do is uh, I am trying to make sure my town center never goes idle and then I'm constantly either producing villagers or uh, researching technology. Because if your town center goes idle, that means your opponents are going to get a leg up on you. So make sure your town center is always working at the beginning. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I can wall up here and up there. And, uh, we'll see. We'll see how this goes. Not too worried about walling. I am pocket, so I think I can be. I'm pretty sure I'm pocket. Yeah, I'm definitely pocket. So I think I'm pocket, and that the the nearest enemy will be on this side. We're going to start getting our boar here in just a sec. Yeah, I think, uh, I'm not sure who's to my left, but I'm their pocket. Yeah, the Incas don't get housed very often, because each one of their houses gives you 10 population space. It's pretty cool. So it can happen if you're trash, but... Okay, so I'm next to Gala, okay. do this all right in the beginning of the game you want to focus almost entirely on food and wood they're gonna be your two like most critical resources early on um, you don't want to start getting gold really you want to just focus all your attention on food and wood okay I may try to wall this. I don't know, maybe I should wall there instead. Okay, looks like uh, that's Lilith is up here. I want to try to go uh, Kamayux this game, but we'll see. We'll see how well that works out. Bringing over my second boar. I think this one's about to be finished, yeah. Pretty good timing on this boar. Right. 
Two on wood here. All right, I got the second sheep here. So let's go inform. This is where Lilith is. Probably mill up here. sheep away so they don't steal my sheep or my llama. You're never getting my llama, motherfuckers. Uh, let's go mill up here real fast. So we don't get berries, but we do get a lot of deer. So that's pretty fair. I could actually just probably use my... I don't even think I need a mill up there, to be honest. I could just use my scout. Try to use my scout here. Well, I don't know. I'm committed. I was going to go for my scout to try to lure the, the, deer, or the deer forward, but I'll just mill it. Okay. Uh, so hunting is a lot like the uh, you get different food at different speeds in this game Hunting is a really really fast way to get food um, Which is why you'll see me go for the deer right here um, The really fast and efficient way to get food okay. I think we'll be ready to go up here in just a sec Um, a little bit, um, I did a little bit of a bad job with my balancing here. Might have to do some drop off. I probably put too many dudes on wood. A little bit, a little bit of a rocky, a uh, little rocky there, but we'll make it. <laughs> Hero of time. That sounds uh, sounds an awful lot like uh, what's it called? God damn it! Why can't I remember it? Oregon Trail. Oregon Trail. Dude, when's the last time you played Oregon Trail, man? I played that in a really long time. You love what I do to Carl in Mario Maker. I don't, do, I don't do anything to Carl in Mario Maker. What are you talking about? I haven't done anything to Carl in a long time in Mario Maker. You're crazy. Oh, that feels like that feels like years ago now. I know it wasn't, but it does feel like years ago. Yeah, Oregon Trail. Oregon Trail. Oregon Trail? Is that a thing? There's actually more boar over here. I think, oh, I think that's my ally is getting that though. I'm gonna put a barracks down somewhere, I guess. I'll put a barracks up here. Uh, market. And blacksmith right there. Okay. To build this barracks up. Alrighty. In the reaction to each other's levels. Those are the good old days, man. The barbecue level was really fun to watch Carl play. That was a uh, that was definitely a highlight of Mario Maker for me. Greatly enjoyed that. Alright. Looks like. Oh, we're ready to go. Damn. 
That's that extra food from this deer is hooking me up. All right, I actually wanted to go start getting stone. Where actually is my stone, though? I think this is my stone. I guess I can TC this. I guess we'll just TC it when I get to the next stage. We'll get stone out really fast. What's up, Ed? The good old days. It was the good old days. <laughs> it was the good old days. Master and Commander was great. That was, pre that was pretty funny. That was a good video. Alright, so I think we'll finish these deer right around the time uh, we'll need to. Oh, let me get, uh, let me get cartography. Alright. We'll be Castle Age very soon. Um, TC right here for the um, stone, so I'm going to move these villages over this way. We're almost there. Make sure there's no shenanigans. I should probably build a wall right there. Go ahead and do that. Let's close off any areas I don't want them attacking me from. Okay, we should be there now. There we go. Okay. Town center right there. Let's go to get wheelbarrow now, actually. Let's do that. 100 days ago, the good old days, man. I'm telling you. Oh, looks like a villager died over here. What's going on? about over here everything good looks like we're walled up a bit okay town center is out just about got wheelbarrow let's get bow saw I need to take a look at the enemy sieves as well yo Ed with the sub Less than three. Thank you very much. Great stream. Yo, Ed, thank you so much, man. Why was that voice so different? Did you guys hear that? She was like, thank you very much. That was weird as fuck. Uh, Ed, thank you so much for the two months, man. I appreciate it. What's the objective of this game? So, we're building up our civilizations, and soon we will be fighting the enemy team for supremacy over this land. Is a thing for you. <laughs> it sounds like it, man. So right now, I'm, what I'm doing is I am making my civilization stronger and uh, building it up. Yeah, we're trying to destroy our enemies here. Uh, let's see. Let's put a TC down here as well. I should get a horse collar soon. I'm just so low on wood right now. Is that, a, is that a Ghost Sagan clip? Is this Black Forest? No, this is uh, Scandinavia. A little bit different. This map actually has water. I could see um, I could see myself potentially being behind if somebody went water. And uh, we just don't have any. But the good news is I won't lose because, uh, because of not having ships. So that's good, I guess. PC should be up soon. Uh, let's get horse collar. Alright. I don't think we'll be attacked through here. Um, 
Looks like Festivus is walling up here. I should go put a... Um, I should go build a siege workshop over there. I really want a castle, though. We should actually have enough stone for a castle, like, really soon. More farms, get some more food. Yeah, you can destroy trees with uh, siege workshops, you, or with uh, siege weapons. You can do that. actually get a siege workshop where where do I want a siege workshop uh, you know what let's actually get our castle down where would a good castle be Dude, this gold is like impossible to get to let's put a castle here Farms, let's research heavy plow. Dude, the level Go Sagan made for me after I made him that level was like way, way over the top. That was like way over the line. He like he violated some some shit on that one. Oh, we got some knights coming in. Okay, that's bad. Gonna get pikemen now. Take off some more vills off the line to help finish this castle. Let's see it. Do we have a house rule against early aggression? No, we don't. People can do whatever they want, but um, I think most most players who play with us are more comfortable. Um, playing a slower style game and not something like super fast paced and aggressive. It's not like a rule, it's just the way the way most of us play. We're actually gonna make some Kamayucks here. And let's actually poop out Siege Workshop as well. Dude, Kamiyaks make hella fast, man. Are there knights here or something? Oh, is that where they died? Okay. I'm gonna send my Kamiyaks down there just in case there's knights coming. Stop. Get a siege workshop out. Faster stone mining would be good. Let's get squires. Um, Handcart would be nice. Can't afford it. Oh, there they are. We had a hole in our wall, and we're getting raided. Right. Unfortunately, uh, I don't have anything related. I can't do anything about that. It's kind of hard for me to do something. What I can do is start hitting these walls, though. villagers out. Yo, Shady Salesman, thank you so much for the sub. Uh, greatly appreciate that. Thank you so much. Uh, where did all my... There they are. Okay. There's actually a relic down there I should probably get. Can I get handcart yet? No. 
Uh, let's get another castle here, maybe. Get this one. Uh, let's get archery range as well. Dude, they came right through the hole, man. Fucking A, man. Oh my goodness. Getting raided by knights. I wish he hadn't uh, messed up that hole. If he hadn't messed up that hole, we'd be fine here. Second castle is up. Economy is in the shitter. Get this. Uh, I should probably get... I need more gold miners, I think. Alright. Yo, what's up, Loon? I just can't click the right things here. Dude, my cameos are never where I need them to be. They're actually just never where I need them to be. Um, I can't afford dicks right now because I have no gold. Sell some of this. I need to get ballistics, yeah. I actually have enough stone for yet another castle right now. Where are my Kamiyux, dude? My Kamiyux are literally never where I need them. Consumers is out. I hope things are going okay on the right side. Get another Mangonel out. More Vils. They're destroying my houses right now, but that's not a big deal. Whoops. Sending the rest of my forces up here. We're gonna keep sending dudes. Alright. Uh, I need a university here somewhere. You join your next game? Why don't I use trade cards, cogs? Uh, it's actually faster to mine gold from your veins of resources before you start going for uh, everything else. So the question, the answer is I don't need it yet. Bodkin. I almost want crossbows.
I could maybe get some slingers as well. Continue getting my blacksmith upgrades. Let's get uh, that one. Okay. I'm gonna make sure we're not getting attacked anywhere else. Everywhere else looks okay. Uh, I should go Imperial Age by now. Go Imperial Age. I'm gonna get some more castles here. Get a castle over there. Alright, we're gonna move forward. Uh, we're on our way to the Imperial Age now as well. We're gonna see what this kind of damage this army can do. Get Thumb Ring. Did I get my university out? We need to get uh, Ballistics. Yeah, okay. Too much wood right now. Let's sell some wood. As a kid, do you ever take sick days just to play games? Uh, my parents would never, ever let me do that. <laughs> nah, never in a million years my parents let me do that. We can seize this relic if we want it. Got a pretty strong army here between Festivus, has cataphracts, and we're over here. Oh shit. This is Fig Pickers over there. I feel like we should go fight Festivus and not Fig Picker, but... I'll probably keep moving left, I think. I'm gonna move this way. And we should be Imp very soon. I still don't have crossbows. More range units. Um, I think... Did I get this castle up? I did. Get another castle up here. Holy shit, that's a lot of units. How are things over here? Everything seems quiet over there. Alright, we're imp. Let's go ahead and, uh, let's see. Where am I getting? Get range on this. Elite Kamayuk. Inscription would be nice. Alright, uh, is this them? This is their stuff? Yeah, that's Festivus, right over there. I think this is probably not what they want to do here. They're gonna get my mangonels, but my mangonels aren't a big deal. Yo, PT Ken! Yo, PT Ken, you're back? Uh, PT Ken, thank you so much for the host, man. Um, uh, thank you so much, dude. PT Ken, I'm so sorry to hear about Bobby. Um, I had a I had a pet die a long time ago as well, and it's it sucks, dude. It really sucks. But thank you so much, PT Ken. I really appreciate the host. We're gonna get some trebs out. Hope you're doing good, man. Um, it takes it can really losing a pet can really fuck you up, man. Um, I hope you're doing good. Let's get uh ballistics. Well, we're killing a lot of trade cards, so at least we got that. Uh, this right side looks quiet. See some knights and shit over there. Cammy actually doing work right now. Alright. 
How are things over here? Okay, things look bad over there. I need to start sending army over here this way. Definitely doing some good damage right now over there. Need to get the rest of my upgrades. Sell some wood. Um, just in case, we're gonna put a monastery here. Uh, PT Can had Bobi, yeah. Bobi was. I think it was like a Pomeranian. I think Bobi was like a Pomeranian mix or something. Really, Bobi was so cute. Really a bummer. It happens though, man. It just happens. Sometimes with, with pets, you end up loving pets like more than humans, you know? That like definitely happens. Definitely happened to me. And um You know. The thing the best thing with pets is like if you if you can think like, well, I gave the pet like the best life I could, you know, and did the most you could for the pet while they were alive. That's like the best you can probably hope for. And Moby always seemed really happy to me. I should get Halberdier. And I need to get tracking. Pack up these trebs. We're gonna push in this way. I like the Incas. Um, the Incas definitely have some matchups that suck, for sure. Um, that's just my that's my opinion on them. But I really like the Incas. I think I have a sheep following me over here. Uh, couriers, sure. Okay, I'm gonna. We're gonna need onagers here. There's way too many skirms. Who's what? Civ is he? He's the, the Teutons. You know what's gonna be bad is when they start. Pumping out the Huskarls. That's gonna be bad. Yeah, that's. What did I say? I'm a fucking prophet. Elite Huskarls just gonna trash a lot of my army here. Well, the good news is that we got Cataphracts coming in, so that's good. That's the good news here. Is there more stone I can get? I kind of want more castles. There actually is more stone right here. <laughs> the second I called it is when the Huskarls showed up. Um... I mean, waiting for me is fine, I guess. Go kill Huskarls. How is this situation here? Alright, I need to start setting up trade. It's well past time. How am I gonna trade on this map, though? Um. I'm gonna put markets here. Savage. 
Got Onagers coming in. Did I get Siege Engineers? I don't even know if I if the Inca gets Siege Engineers, actually. Do they? They do. Alright. Maybe we should push this way? I don't know. I guess I'll push down here. I need more barracks. I definitely need more barracks right now. Once these cataphracts get in, I think they're going to be in a lot of trouble. We're just going to keep pumping out these uh, Kamex for now, though. Are these markets done? Alright. Um, market. Oh, is this... Seems like a pretty calm situation over here. Oh, uh, looks like, uh, Festivus has resigned. I think this is... Yeah, this is where Festivus is. Yeah, the cataphracts are hard to deal with. And we've also got the Kamex here as well. That was going to be tough to turn back for sure. Vale played. Uh, Vale. Vale did a good job uh, helping the team. I think Festivus needed uh, help up here. Some Huskarls up here. We've got the Slingers. Uh, I don't have nearly enough Kamiyux to deal with the Huskarls. Yeah, sometimes you get faced with like an impossible win. Like you just can't win. That happens sometimes in this game. Like, when you're playing as the Aztecs, for instance, and a lot of Byzantine cataphracts show up, you can't win that. Are Kamiaks better than Champions? Well, Kamiaks are weird, so like, a Kamiak would lose one-on-one -on -one versus Champion, but if you get enough Kamiaks masked up, they are insanely good. Um, they'll, they'll crush almost anything in infantry. Um, they're also like, really, like, look at that. They've got plus six armor against Pierce, and they've got five armor. And they've got the one range, like, Kamiox are no joke. You have to, you need to, you need the hand cannoneers or slingers, or even a lot of archers, I would say, would be a questionable counter. The range on the Kamiox, yeah, uh, when you get enough Kamiox together, they are really hard to deal with. That's a pretty good game. Not bad, not bad. Yeah, reinforcements coming in here. Yeah, Kamiyux are pretty, are very strong. Did I ever get, did I ever get all my shit here? 
I think I got I didn't even need to make trade this game. Oh, I didn't get the full armor on my archers here. They're just uh they're just a beefy unit. I like the Incas, I, I like them a lot. They're definitely one of my favorite sibs. When you get them going, they're they're really they're really hard to deal with. Uh, yeah, I didn't even really need to go for gold. I already, I'm, I'm, I had plenty of this game. All right, GG, that was pretty fun. Looks like we won on this side too. Yeah, Bonzi was no joke. Yo, good game. Take a look at the stats, and we can start another game here. Oh man. Not sure what your teammates are doing when Vale had the time to boom and run all the way across the map with a horde of cataphracts to reach me. Uh, I don't know. I think Fig, um, you know, I didn't do that much damage to Fig Picker when I was attacking here, and then Lilith showed up with the Huskarls. Um, but I think I did enough damage to the point where Fig Picker had trouble. Because I killed a lot of his military, and, um, destroyed, uh, I killed some villagers and stuff. I couldn't get past this wall of castles Fig Picker had made, but I think I did enough damage to Fig Picker that, uh, it was enough to kind of swing the game in our favor. You know, good stuff. Fun game. Kind of lacked money. Let's see. Hey, dude, my the Kamiox, dude, they never die. They never die. There is nobody to help on left and nobody on right. <laughs> dude, that sometimes that just happens, man. Uh, most food, most wood. Take it. Villager high. Man, very few people even got above 100 villagers. You hate Rush. Did you get? Oh, you yeah. The knights came in early on. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, I think I think the Vale just likes to when Vale's pocket, Vale just sits back, makes like the strongest unit, and just sends it in. And I mean that's not a, that's a smart way to play. That's why if you're gonna rush somebody, you have to rush Vale because then Vale just doesn't know what to do for the rest of the game. 